Good evening, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your evening recap for Thursday night, April the 3rd, 2014. Okay, uh, five-minute chart of the ES, a very interesting day. We go up and we do matching highs on the continuation chart, and everybody, you know, yeah, continuation charts don't matter. Yeah, they really do. Um, so we make the 87 half matching highs, uh, which is basically up at, 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 at R1 there off of the daily pivot. We then chop around for a while. And this chop was, I mean, this was really whippy. It was very, very whippy. When it finally broke and we got below, you know, 83, you started to see a couple things happening. You saw um, the euro start to recover a little bit. You saw the dollar start to retreat. And you saw what was, um, you know, you saw the Russell start to lead us lower. So we had all three of those things going on. And then you finally saw what people were waiting to see, which was uh, the pullback. Now, what we had identified, and I sent, I sent this chart out um, early, earlier this afternoon, talking about how, you know, what, what, you know, really what is the one thing that the bulls have loved to do during the entire course of the uptrend, matching lows. They love matching lows. And these were not perfect matching lows. They were matching lows within a handle. Uh, but, you know, the 76 area proved to be the bounce area. Uh, we were all over that in the room, and we bounced it, and we closed. Uh, we're taking a little 15-minute break from Globex here at 1883 half. What I'm looking at tonight, um, as long as you see – the 79 area hold up. I think you're going to see a steady walk up through Globex into the uh, into the non-farm payroll number uh, tomorrow morning at 8:30. I don't think it's going to be a rocket launch up and you know walk, walk up overnight. I think it's, you're just going to see it steadily walk up, probably to test that 1887 half. Now, if that's what the bulls are going to do, if that's what the bulls are going to do, they better take it out. They better take out 87 half, even if they retreat after, but they better take that out. They better not make a lower high and they better not make another matching high at 87 half because what could happen then is it retreats off. You've established 87 half and if the reaction off the jobs report peaks at 87 half, that's a sellable event right there. Because then it's, it, you're, you're past the matching high part. You, you are at... That, that's a ceiling. So if the bulls are going to do this, they need to do it all the way, and that means make new highs um, in the overnight and in the early morning session tomorrow. If they're able to do that, then any downdraft off of jobs is likely at the end of the day, you know, uh, you know, going to be a buy off whatever the low range is. Now, I'll give you tomorrow morning speech right now. Don't game jobs. Your first question is, well, Mike, you bought those 76s down there looking for a bounce and a walk up into the jobs number. Isn't that gaming jobs? No. What I mean by gaming jobs is it's 825 in the morning. You're sitting at your desk. You don't have anything else better to do. You don't have any real knowledge of what's going to happen one way or the other. So you say, you know what? I think the reaction to the jobs report day today is going to be bullish. So now that it's 827, I'm going to go ahead and buy them. You may be right. You may be wrong. Either way, it's a bad trade. Okay. What we're doing here is, you know, there are some very typical patterns and we talk about them in the room. And, you know, I had the chart that I put up on Twitter, but Jack and, and everybody out there and, and other subscribers in the room we're all over this, the timing of it, everything in the week. So it was, it was a, you know, it, it was a big call and, 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 um, you know, we're really happy about it, but that's not gaming jobs. It's, it's a setup going into the report. My rules say that I'm going to be flat at 929 and 59 seconds. And that's my plan. So I've got a profit stop. I'm in free ride on the rest of my trade. I got almost all of my size off. I've got a very normal size position on right now. Um, but wherever I am, 
wherever it happens to be going into, in, you know, assuming I haven't been, been stopped out on that profit stop, going into the number, I'll be flat. So, because that's just what my rules dictate. I don't, I don't play around with, with jobs and I don't play around with, uh, with the FOMC. Okay, everybody have a fantastic night. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. It would have made you a lot of money today. Um, come check out the website. Come check out the chat room. See what people are saying. I think we can really help you. And I would love to meet you and uh, get you onto a two-week uh, free trial. I will be out tomorrow morning with another pre-market webcast. I don't know if it's going to be before the number or after the number. My preference would be after the number so we can talk about the range that's created. But either way, I will talk to everybody in the morning. Have a fantastic night and trade them well.